Good afternoon everybody. Today we are here to talk about tires, specifically tires as it relates to our travel trailer right here. So if you're new to the channel, here's a short intro to show you what we're normally all about and then we'll get right into it. So friends, uh, these here are our castle rocks. They've been on the trailer since we bought it. And uh, if you look at these, our trailer is a 2019, but the, uh, the date code on these is 02 of 2019. Now we bought this rig in 2021. So the tires were over a year old when we actually bought it. So the date code is what you actually want to look at with these things. We really can't say much bad about the Castle Rocks as far as like they haven't blown out. But if you rub your hand around them, there's some bulges. Uh, this one's actually not too bad. The one that we have back here at the spare is actually the worst. And friends, it actually has, and this was on the uh, trailer for a while. It's got a crack in the sidewall right here. I uh, don't know if the camera will pick it up. It's right there in that C. But, yeah, so today we're getting new ones. I would have probably gotten new ones sooner if it wasn't for the TPMS system that we installed, which I did a video on that. I'll, you know, throw a link above for that. So, friends, tires, finally, we got them. We got them installed. We're pretty stoked about it. And I'm going to tell you what we did here. So, these are Goodyear Endurance. There's several reasons why we went with that. And I'm going to go over them here. And then I'm going to show you some things that I like about them so far. These are still derated, just the same as the ones we had before. These are 205 R14. Same size as what we had before. Several good things about the Goodyear Endurance is one, the speed rating is 87 miles an hour, uh, I believe. They say that they're speed rating N. So I believe that's 87. I'll double check and I'll stick it right here somewhere. Our old ones, the Castle Rocks, they were rated for 75, which that's more than we ever tow, right? We normally run on the interstate about 72. Lately, I've been slowing it down to about 68 because you get better gas mileage and fuel is atrociously expensive. But if we have somewhere to be, we could be running faster. But when I was going 72, and if if we're going 72, and this truck and trailer combo is more than capable of going up to probably 75. And, you know, there's a good chance going downhill. If I'm coasting and stuff, and it's not affecting fuel mileage, we may go 75. 87, we're never going to be towing 87 miles an hour, or even close to that. So these give us a good buffer zone, I guess is what I'm getting at. And I like that. You know, they're made in the USA, it says so, right here somewhere, I did just read it. These are supposed to be one of the toughest tires that you can buy for a trailer, and basically we're trying to eliminate any possibilities of blowouts, right? Blowouts, they'll ruin everything in the vicinity. It's not just the tire, it's everything around it, and that gets expensive really fast. You know, like I said, we were running the TPMS to help us with that, to make sure that if anything was low or high on pressure, we would find out about it. Uh, one thing, though, that I've noticed right off the bat with these, and I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but where my hand's at, it's, it's, it's concave, I think is the right word, right? Higher in the center. It's higher in the center, right? It's shaped like this. The Castle Rocks. I still have one. We did keep the spare Castle Rock that we had before. The guy looked at the gash in the sidewall and said, It'd probably be all right for a spare. We know if we need to use this, we can't go very far with it. And no matter which tire I kept, that was going to be the case. Even with these things inflated to 65 PSI cold, 
or even actually the last couple of days they've been slightly over inflated. I think they were at like 67 when we first started out the other day. You can see, look at that, it's lower. It's lower here in the center than on the outsides. And this one's inflated at 65, just like the rest of them were. And that means, that means your outside parts is what's contacting and under load that's even worse right so tires if they're properly inflated are higher in the center and then when they're loaded they should sit flat or more on the outside and the way these are and probably why they blow out so much if they're riding on the outsides that's generating heat which is going to cause problems heat is the enemy when it comes to these tires so so i noticed that right off the bat right I knew someone who worked for Goodyear, so I got a substantial discount on these, so that does help. But if you spend any time on any kind of RV or trailering forums or anything like that, this is what's recommended. So, you know, generally I'm not a Goodyear fan, just like I'm not a Ram fan. I'm a GM guy, but Ram makes the best three-quarter ton gasser, in my opinion. And Goodyear makes the best trailer tire, in my opinion. So, uh, it says Durawall technology, and essentially the goal is to have a stronger sidewall. The date code on these is 0122, which means they were made in January of 2022. And the date code on that is what you want to go by for replacing of your tires, right? The old ones, I mentioned the Castle Rocks, you know, they were early 2019, so they were a year old before we even bought the trailer. These are a couple months old right now. I, I would tend to run these a little bit longer by the date code than I would the Made in China Castle Rocks. I think we could probably get about five years past the date code on these. We will probably not have this rig for that long. That would put us at like 2027. And I really don't think we're going to have this rig in 2027. But if we do, of course, you'll see the longevity we get out of these. But we're going to have it for at least three or so more years. And we've got a lot of big trips planned this year. West Virginia, we're going way south in the fall, 600 miles each way. Just a few more things I wanted to discuss with you as it relates to the tires. Uh, we had some audio issues when I first filmed this, so you know we're redoing this, and I apologize if I'm repeating myself. But um, I, I think you'll find that quite a few people recommend that as soon as you buy a camper, or travel trailer with Castle Rock tires on it that you should replace them before you even leave the dealership lot. Uh, a lot of people recommend negotiating it into the deal with your travel trailer which I do highly recommend that if there's still trailers out there that come with these you know that would be the way to go is negotiate tires into the deal. I uh, did notice the we went to the Pennsylvania RV Super Show many of the new RVs all come with a Goodyear Endurance because I think people kind of got the hint that Castle Rocks were not generally accepted into the RV travel trailer community. So uh, just about all of the big name brands that was a quality trailer, they all come with Goodyear Endurance now. So that's a major plus if you're buying a new rig. Again, if you happen to come buy something with Castle Rocks, the main point I'm trying to get at here is we've put a lot of miles on our Castle Rocks. And I really, really have not had any kinds of problems. And so I wanted to give you an idea of how many miles exactly we've put on the rig with the Castle Rocks. So let's calculate that out now. Uh, in this book, I've kept track of just about all our adventures since we've owned the rig. And in the bottom corner, basically, I've been keeping track of how many miles are on the camper itself. So if we went out and back, I'd double it and write it in the corner. And... Uh, for the trips like Hawking Hills last year, I wrote to each campground. So to Baylor Beach, then from Baylor Beach to Hawking Hills, and then back to home. So it's all, it's all accurate. And in this book, and this is up until we got the Ram, which we'll talk about the miles we've towed with it here in just a second. So 2,500 miles, exactly, we towed with our old GMC Sierra. Now, so as far as the Ram truck goes, in this menu, it keeps track of how many miles you've towed each trailer that you have. So you go to, and I had the dump trailer set as my current, but anytime you go and switch trailers and you know, you put in use the travel trailer, 
then you can go over to your screen over here and of course it's got my tire pressure monitoring but it also keeps track of the distance that you've towed that specific trailer so in the case of the travel trailer which we've just went to we're at 2500 miles also so that means we've towed the trailer about 5,000 miles. Now you can subtract a few miles off the Ram number because our last trip was our first trip with the Goodyears, but roughly 5,000 miles is, is what we've gone with the Castle Rocks. And again, not had a blowout. They did say that there were some bulges in the sidewall, which, which I had talked about uh, before we even left. And one of the reasons why I was getting rid of them, I didn't like that. Uh, they said that's from hitting potholes. I there's been so many trips where we've hit so many potholes, it's you know it's unreal. So that really doesn't surprise me if that's the cause of that. Uh, it's from the cords or belts bulging out because they're broken because we hit potholes. So do I recommend to you that you replace them the day that you buy the trailer? Probably not, especially if your budget's a little tight. You know, we don't have a whole lot of disposable income. The tires was only like $450, 500 bucks or something like that. But still, I mean, that's a lot of money. And uh, if you're on any kind of like fixed income or something, you know, I think you can get some miles out of it. I think you need to watch the date code. You need to watch your pressures, which I just shown you. We got the tire pressure monitors in the Ram, and that was something that gave me the confidence to go one more season with those. Otherwise, I think I would have probably replaced them sooner. But yeah, watch your pressure. Uh, that's a big deal. Check them at gas stations in between routes and check the heat of your bearings. We don't have one, but I've been wanting to get one, one of them laser pointer things that tells you the temperature. I mean, that's a great way to know whenever you're at a stop. If something's heating up, that's not good. There was something I read online recently where somebody, they took their trailer to get it inspected, which we did a video on Pennsylvania State Inspections and the benefits of that just a few videos ago. And he took it to get inspected and he asked them, he said, hey, look at these tires and if they're cracked, I want them replaced. Well, the place didn't replace them and I don't even know if they looked to see if they were cracked. And now he's trying to like sue this place. And I'm thinking, you can't look with your own two eyes at your own tires and see if they're cracked and tell them to replace them? I mean, that's the kind of thing you gotta do. You gotta use your own self and look at your own trailer because you are responsible for you. So make your own decisions and deal with the consequences of that. But you should be looking at your tires before each trip. That's just, that's just the way it is. I don't care if they're Goodyear's or China bombs or whatever you got, it's very important. Uh, you know, otherwise, if you have a blowout, it's, it's on you. And that's all I've got to say really about that. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if this video helped you in any way, and hit the like button, all that good stuff. We've got another great video coming out in just a week or two, uh, going to Cass Scenic Railroad in West Virginia, so stay tuned for that. It's definitely going to be a good one, and uh, we'll see you then.